when you come to South Africa and you want to enter South Africa, they don't ask you, are you coming from Chipata? They ask you, are you coming from Zambia? You must vote for somebody that will make Zambia great, not by tribe. That's also known as Ngelo Wapazer, girl from Zambia. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that each time I upload our videos, you will be notified that Ngelo Wapazer uh, posts a poker video, that Ngelo Wapazer has uploaded a video. Thank you. Thank you so much for returning back for the third series of CR1 videos. I wanted to explain a little bit for those of you who don't understand who CR1 is. He's a Nigerian prophet that used to live in Zambia and was deported a few years ago uh, because of some dealings that they had with the government but then we didn't know much and c one never used to speak anything about the, the Zambian government his deportation was you know something that people expected but to him it was a disappointment because he helped the current government to be in power through what he calls supernatural powers now that's not the reason why we're here we are here to listen to what he has to say about the current opposition parties right we have a man called Hakainda Hichileme this is his image this man is a credible person he's a millionaire he's a very rich man in fact he's the richest man in Zambia and he is the top opposition and then we have Dr. Kambwili we have Harry Kalawa we have Sevia Chimba they are all there to stand against uh, the current government but uh, Sia One has a message for them you know if you really really want to win the elections next year be positive one to be strong and be an opposition leader that knows what they want pursue the people because the floor has been prepared for you the patriotic front has shown a lot of corruption which is public you've seen the bicycle scandal you've heard of the fire trucks you've heard of 48 miracle houses the video is linked down below of how I explain these things and they're also trying to push the agenda of bill 10 so that they should be in power until 2030 now for me I've never really been involved in politics until my people who are suffering started complaining to me they've been contacting me telling me what they are going through at the moment and I don't like to hear my people suffer that's the reason why I have involved myself so please watch this video and tell me what you think at the end of this video I worked with this idiot that I'm talking about. I know them. No one knows them better than I do. You see, when I talk, they, they hear me. They listen to me. They, when I say I want to talk, they listen to me. They're all tuned in. They are watching me with fake accounts because they know that I'm saying the truth. If I'm lying, if I say something bad, sue me. You know, no, we cannot sue you because you are in South Africa. Who told you? There is International Criminal Court. You sue me. We go there and we, we speak, we expose ourselves. Several times they have always said, see, one was in Zambia. He was uh, sleeping with men. After sleeping with men, he was uh, raping young girls. After raping... How many times was I arrested in Zambia? Taken to court and I came out clean. If I was doing all those things, why am I here in South Africa? I should have been in prison in Zambia. I should have been in prison in Zambia. It's because they, they have nothing against me. They make propaganda against me. The see one was, uh, was sleeping. How am I going to sleep with men and sleep with women again? You know, those are the things that they don't know what to say against me. So if you think that see one has done something bad, see one has spoken against our president. If your president feels that I've lied against him, if your president says he's not corrupt, let him sue me. He has the right to sue me, International Criminal Court. We go there and I justify my claim. 
The whole world must come to Zambia and investigate what I'm saying. If I'm lying, then I can go to prison. Or I, I can pay damage. I can pay for, 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 for. I can pay for uh, defamation. There is no problem. But they are not seeing me. And the youths, cadres who are illiterate, who don't know anything, they want to, to go and protest in my in my if the whole world is laughing at zambia my embassy themselves i think when they got that and they started laughing they even felt on the ground and started laughing that is useless come talk about tutua please tutua is an example of uh, mouth uh, tammy politician he doesn't use his brain he uses them. Few months ago, Tutua was saying the truth about PF. He was fighting PF. You know, he was speaking against PF. He was speaking for the people. But the moment he was given a pause in PF, his tongue changed. Tutua is an example of Judas Iscariot. Today, Tutua is saying those people that want to protest. They need, he's telling police to break their bone. But he's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. And law says that if somebody commits a crime, you take them to court, prove them guilty, and punish them. If people go against the law, you don't tell police to break their bone. No. You don't tell police to break their bone. If people go against the law, tutwa, you take them to court, prove them guilty, and sentence them. If you take, if you break their bonds, today you are in PF. Tomorrow PF will lose the election. They will break your bone also when you start talking. Sometimes use your brain to talk to Twa. Don't use your tummy to talk. Make sure that your brain is faster than your tummy. Because tomorrow is pregnant. It can give birth to anything. That person you are saying that they must break their bone. Maybe the president that will rule your child tomorrow. He will break the bone of your child. Life is a seed. Any seed you sow today, you are going to reap it tomorrow. Be very careful, Tutua. Give me your question. We should shake hands, comrade. Thank you. Jillian <laughs> said, one wise one is life. Uh, God bless you. We are listening. Thank you. Okay. Tutua is like a, I was a, I was a, I was disappointed because when the youth started protesting, the government quickly organized the a, 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 a what? The government quickly organized the what is this? The government quickly organized a, a meeting at OYDC for the youth, mm -hmm. and guess the person who was coming to speak to the youth, that one is political advisor to the president. What is his name? Uh, Chris Zumani or what? Chris Zumani. Chris Zumani is a, is, a, is a, also an example of Judas. Before he became presidential advisor, he was writing rubbish against Edigalong. That is also those of you who are cadres. Somebody like Maxwell, Maxwell Chungu, Maxwell who always talk rubbish about Siawa. And many of you who are political cadres who fought so hard for PF. Die hard cadres for PF. Outsider like Chris Zumani is now the one who is next to your president and telling your president what to do. But you are still a cadre. Chris Zumani was always criticizing the president. He even called Ed Galungu a playboy in State House. But today, Ed Galungu has taken him. He's getting more salary than you cadres. The only thing you get is 10 rand, 20 rand. 1,000 rand. You go and eat a uh, pepper soup of goat, drink beer, and start ty typing rubbish. Do you even think about your future? Chris Zumani is a Judas. He has used his Judas Iscariot tactics to become rich. Where he is now, do you know how much he's making? Those of you that suffered for PF, where are you? PF whistleblowers, where are you? PF diehard, where are you? Chris Zumani is eating better than you. Edi Galungu is also not very stupid. He's wise. He understands if he was not a little bit wise, 
People like Maxwell Chung was going to be the political advisor because they fought for him very hard. People like Emmanuel Mamba was going to be his political advisor or even a minister. But you know, there are people who you look at them and say, ah, this one is useless. <laughs> Can't come close to me. He brought Chris. Chris was speaking against him. And Chris, because of money and power, is now Edgar Lungu's political advisor. Beloved, he was invited to go and speak for the youth. What is Chris money going to tell the youth? How to be Judas Iscariot? How to condemn PF today and praise them tomorrow? Is it what you are going to teach the youth? Hmm? Same as Antonio, Antonio Manza. Before Antonio joined PF, he was speaking sense. He was fighting for the people. Today now, he's speaking from his tummy. His tummy is far ahead. His brain is just behind. Beloved, be very careful. Talk about Chilifiatayali. Anytime I'm live, people say, talk about Chilifiatayali. What am I going to talk about him? He's making a living. There is only way. I've, I've said it before. I said this before, but you don't understand me. You don't believe me. I said, it's you, Zambians. I'm here on, uh, I'm here on Facebook now. I'm talking. It's not everybody that loves me. If you don't love me, you stop coming to my page. You stop watching my videos. You stop commenting on my things. You forget about them. And you have your peace. If you don't love what Chilufia Tayali is doing, stop commenting on his post. Stop reacting on his post. Sometimes he play on your mind, he posts something bad and speak against HH. The more you comment, the more he's getting uh, attention. The more, uh, the more he's, uh, he's uh, becoming popular. If he posts something, you know that, ah, I don't love what he has posted. Leave him. Don't comment. Leave it. If he see that no one is commenting now, he will keep quiet. He's, comment, he's talking about HH because when he talks about HH, you go there and fight him. And when you fight him, he say, page is growing. He say, account is growing. You don't understand psychology. When he posts something, you don't like. If you don't like unlike his page i will not come here and say to fatal is bad to fatal is this to fatal is... no he must eat he must maintain his page so if you don't like what he's doing leave his page if you leave his page if you see, if you see you know if you look if you see that when i write about hh people are not giving me attention he will stop writing about hh if he posts something about the galungo people don't care just like uh, pages, some useless pages like Smart Egos. You can see, they post something about Edgar Lungo. People don't comment. When they post something about Edgar Lungo, they have to use fake accounts to comment on the same thing that they posted. They have a lot of fake accounts. Check, go to Smart Ego today and see. Majority of the comments you see there are fake accounts. They are the same people they are posted. They are the same people that are commenting because... They know that people are tired of Eddie Galongo. People don't want to hear about Eddie Galongo. They don't. Same as a, 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 a what is called Zambian Report, a page that has about 1.2 million followers and likes. But when they post something, only five people react, 20 people react, 10 people react. It's to show you that these pages are useless pages. It's to show you that people don't care. People don't want to hear about Eddie Galongo. People don't like it. People, you know, people don't people don't want to hear about Eddie Galungu. That's why a big page like Zambian Report, when they post something, they have to them themselves, the admin, they will use fake accounts to comment. They use fake accounts to comment. Go and check. Nobody cares. But look at pages like Watchdog, Moebant, Zambian Landscape, Coastway. When they post something, people are commenting. People don't want to hear anything about Eddie Galungu. People are tired. People are now just waiting for next year. Next year's election. Yeah, Zambia is going to see Jaja. <laughs> Zambia is going to see... The people will vote. 
give me a uh, talk about the retirees that are not being paid the retirees are not paid they are not they have not gotten their 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 payment but pf has a lot of money to sponsor b10 a bill that majority of zambia do not want hmm? give us best strategy so that they don't rig the election forget about rigging election next year if they rig election zambia will burn mark my word unless unless godfather the only there is only one person who can kill me not even god himself can kill me there is only one person who can kill me godfather unless godfather kills me today i die that's when they will rig next year they won't if they try it zambia will burn like that useless thing that happened with us kachavula we are there. That thing happened. You think that thing can happen today? Let me tell you something you don't know. Here on my phone, army soldiers, commandos, they are writing me messages here. Edgar Longo can be deceived to say, ah, the police is the police is behind me. The police is uh, is with me. The army is with me. They are not with you. 2016, you lost election in all the police camp. You lost the election in all the army camps. You think they are with you? Wait next year. Unless Godfather kills me, so long as I'm alive, forget about rigging. They will not rig next year. Forget it. They don't pay retirees. Eh? As I'm talking now, there are thousands upon thousands of teachers that are crying. They have finished their studies. Now they can't get a job. Teachers are crying. Teachers are crying. Eh? Teachers are crying. Teachers are weeping every blessed day. They can't get employed. Nurses are suffering. I'm even told that these nurses that we are fighting with this COVID, they are not even paid. Eh? They are not paid. Eh? They are not paid. And they are living lavish life. Eddie Galungu has the God to throw Chitenge from his car. What a stupid act. What a rubbish. What, what a nyongo nyanga. What a, a low esteemed, what a desperate president he is. Throwing Chitenge for children. What are they going to do with it? Hmm? Teachers are crying. Ch teachers are crying. Teachers are crying. Eh? Teachers are crying. No employment. Even those that are employed are not paid. If, if they are paid, they are paid peanuts. And cadres are enjoying. Cadres are enjoying. Hmm? Cadres are enjoying. Hmm? Next year. Eh? Next year. <laughs> uh, let them try to... Uh, let them try... You see the reason why they know that rigging this time will not be possible. That's why they are saying... We want to register the 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 the, the what the the prisoners. How many prisoners are there in Zambia? Eddie Galungu, how many votes did you use to win election that time? Is it not hundred thousand prisoners? How many are there? You can get all the prisoners to vote for you. You can get even uh, all the everyone to vote for you, but you will be beaten bitterly next year. Mark my word. Rigging, try. <laughs> Try it. If you if you want Zambia to be in peace, eh, let the election be free and fair. I'm telling you the gospel truth. <laughs> uh, okay, come with your question. You are right. PF government is useless. It's more than useless. It's nothing. Not even God can kill me. Meaning, of course, not even God can. When I told PF to say they will lose the election, when I told PF to say, Confusion has entered. I told them that not even Jesus Christ will save them. You thought I was joking. What is happening today? Eh? Let me tell you something about God and Jesus. They don't support evil. They don't support stupidity. God is wise. You cannot cheat him. You cannot say, let us pray with one hand. On the left hand, you are stealing from poor people. No. Forget it. Come, come, come with your... Update us on your TV station. We are progressing 
very very well on our TV station. And next month you are going to be watching it live from your house without spending data watching me like this. Mili J, gospel truth. God bless you, Mili. Yes, teachers are crying for job. Teachers are crying. They are sending me messages here. So dears are sending me messages here. So I'm saying so dears from barracks. They are sending me messages. They are the ones that are telling me Eddie Galungu did not win in our barracks. If he think that next year is going to use us to intimidate the people of Zambia, he shall he will see what is happening in Malawi. <laughs> Eh? <laughs> what happened in Sudan? <laughs> hey, <Digalungu. laughs> uh, who is big between God and Godfather? It's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about something. Truck drivers are suffering. Everyone is suffering. Everyone from the copper belt, from I am telling all the thousands of people that are watching me today. Immediately in October, once they start registration, go and register in numbers. <laughs> Are you aware that PF reported you to Nigerian government? <laughs> because they are stupid. They don't know that Nigerian government cannot tell me. I say what I want because I have freedom of speech. If... I offend them with my word. They must sue me for defamation of character. I'm going to go to court and prove my case. Papa educators about to be 10. We are watching from Chipata. I'm glad that people from Chipata, in fact, most of the people that are writing me are either from Copper Belt or they are from Luapula or Chipata. A lot of them. And I'm glad that you are waking up this time. Don't vote tribalism. No, no. Don't vote by tribe. You have seen what your brother is doing to you. <laughs> all the, all the, all the, all the, see what your brothers or your sisters, uh, they are doing to you. <laughs> That's why this time you must vote for someone that is going to liberate the whole of Zambia. When you come to South Africa and you want to enter South Africa, they don't ask you, are you coming from Chipata? They ask you, are you coming from Zambia? You must vote for somebody that will make Zambia great, not by tribe. That's why immediately they finish the game. They are playing with Corona and the, and the, their politics that they are doing. Movie, do campaigning alone. They don't want. Immediately they open. HH must go to Chipata. HH must go to Luapula. Those people are hungry. They want to see him. They are hearing Bali, Bali, Bali. There is one old man who who called me. Very elderly man. He says, "See, I want my daughter is. I always tell my daughter." download see a one video for me we watch it in our tv always we always on our tv watching you see a one you know everything you are saying is what is happening we are educating our people already so i am glad that people from this uh, chipata luapula their eyes are their eyes are opening this time is not vote against tribe this time it must be vote against corruption Father Christmas must go, come 2021. He has already gone. Even if you are watching me, you know that you are a PF Kada. You love your country. You want to preserve your country. This is, this is the time to make change. I will continue watching you until 2021. God bless you. Opposition, wake up and talk like, like Sia one. Of course, of course, they have waking up. I'm always watching HH now on his page. He's doing a lot of things. The youth are always flocking on his page. You know, I'm happy because of that. He wanted to go and meet the people, but he was not allowed. Very soon, they will allow him by fire by force. Corona will not be there forever and ever. <laughs> yeah, there is Corona. There is social distancing. You are campaigning alone. You don't want a church to go out. <laughs> okay. See how please reply my messages. <laughs> Should we support B10? Support B10 for what? Okay, what do you know about B10? What, how can you support what you don't know? Eh? You, before you support something, you must know it. 
let B10 not be like a Bible that many of us started reading. Many of us started uh, embracing without understanding what is written inside it. We must understand it. See, I, wanna, I would love to speak to you on WhatsApp. You can send me a message on my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is here on this page. Immediately after this program, get it and uh, send me a message. Voting for the first time. Voting for the first time next year. I am ready. PF must go. There are so many uh, youths in Zambia now that will be voting for the first time. Everybody say, we want change. <laughs> we want change. 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 How about HH taking Cambury in for 2021? It's what I advise. You know, all of them must work together. Not only Cambury, Calabar, uh, Nefes Mumba. All of them, HH must embrace all of them. You know, all of them must work together. Mm. See, one, I'm requesting a bracelet in your arms. This one is a uh, Jagaban. It's, uh, it's what protects me in so many things, you know. It's a, it's a spiritual thing. If it's something ordinary, I was going to give it to you. It's for protection. It's, it's power. But uh, when I go to Nigeria, I will buy and bring, I will buy an ordinary one and send it to you, okay? You can send me a message on WhatsApp so that I get your number. I support Pilato, not beaten. Of course, Pilato, this guy is one guy. I remember... Uh, the other time I prophesied that this Pilato is a prophet. Many people were laughing at me. Many people didn't believe me. One of the character of a prophet is stubbornness and lack of fear. Forget about most of these people you see on Facebook. And most of those people you see in Zambia, they are not prophets. Prophets don't fear. Preaching Bible and prophesying is not prophecy. Prophecy or prophet. They are people that are born to liberate the people. You know, they stand with the people. That's why Pilato, that guy, you know, I love his courage. He's a prophetic guy. See, when I love your heart, I was going to send it to you. Truly, you Jacoban, we love you. God bless you, Abri. Please, I need your financial support, okay? The way people watch this man, eh? <laughs> a lot of people watch me. We are reaching five to six thousand today because I say the truth. That's why uh, when people say, see, one is irrelevant. See, one is this. Ignore see, one. You can never ignore see, one. See, one is very relevant. That's why more people watch me than your president. See, one is relevant. That's why PF is going to cry next year. Many people watch because they love the truth that I say. I request knowledge from you, Papa. Uncle Fio. The more you follow me, the more you become a Jagaban, the more you become knowledgeable, the, the more you become fearless. What about Emmanuel Mwamba? That guy is a very good guy. I don't know. The other time I fought him because he, he stepped on my toe. Money Mamba is a very good guy. He's a guy that he has something here on his head. But as usual, uh, because uh, they are hungry, they want salary. He accepted everything. Money Mamba was supposed to be the, 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 the information and the government spokesperson of PF. Because he fought very hard for Edgar Lungu. It's just that Edgar Lungu is very ungrateful. All the people that fought for him, he threw them away. Even Emmanuel was sent to South Africa here, where he could even make one business or the other to support his salary. Edgar Lungu carried him and threw him to Ethiopia, where nothing is happening. He only woke up, comb his head, comb his and take picture, and write a, a very long essay, send it to Mwebant. Mwebant, please post for me. That's the only thing he's doing in Ethiopia. What is in Ethiopia? There is nothing in Ethiopia. Somebody like Emmanuel Mamba was actually supposed to be in Zambia directing Edgar Lungu, do this, do that, do this, do that, because he's wise. 
and Eddie Galung don't love white people. Eddie Galung love people like uh, Bob and Lusambo. He love people like uh, uh, people who don't have brain. You know, he loves such people. Those are the people he surrounds himself with. You see, Emmanuel Mamba is a wise guy. There's, that guy is very wise. He, he has a lot to contribute to Zambia. But because he, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's there in Ethiopia, what is he doing? Nothing. Hmm? Nothing. Hmm? Apart from in the morning, he wake up, he bath, he comb his hair, he take picture, he write essay. He write a history of rights to one, one million pages sent to Mweban to, Mweban to post for me. So that he can become relevant, so that people can hear from him. When he was here in South Africa, at least he was making business deal. He was trying to bring investors to Zambia. But Ediga don't love people like that. <laughs> he threw him out, <laughs> go to Ethiopia and wait for Chivatal. <laughs> God of Nazareth. <laughs> so, you know, even a church, when you become president, somebody like Emmanuel Mwamba, you must bring him in, you know. Those are people that they have brain to run a country. You know, apart from him being a, a kada, apart from him being what he is, he knows the right thing. But, you know, the way he fought for Edgar, the way he, he used brain, during that time, you know, mm -hmm. these are people that you need to run your government effectively. You know, Bowman, not people like Bowman Lusambo who know nothing. A, a, a Bowman Lusambo who went and gave 400 youths, 200,000, and announced it. <laughs> not knowing that, I think he doesn't know mathematics also. If he knew, he was going to know that it was going to be 5,500. They will eat goat meat and forget about it. <laughs> I feel good. My name is a blessing being mentioned. Wow, God bless you. Thank you. Destiny Child, Namibia. Namibia is watching. God bless Namibia. See, one who is running your church in CF is your church in Zambia. There is a, a prophet Evans. There is a prophet Oscar. There is a prophet oh, Joe Wiseman, CFM. These three people are in charge of my church in, in Zambia. And they will never ask you for money. They will never ask you to give them money for do as I say. There is a man called uh, Piri. He's stealing a lot of money from people using my name. He created a page called Prophetic Seer. He posts my picture and posts my things. I don't know that guy. That guy sent me a message on, on WhatsApp. I caught him. And police is looking for him everywhere now. Because yesterday he stole 10,000 from someone. He always tell people, deposit 2,000, deposit this, deposit that through ATM money. How are you going to do ATM money for me? I'm not in Zambia. Be very, very careful. They are contact, please. Okay, I'm going to post them uh, here after this program. Is KBF going anywhere? KBF, these are the people that Edgar Lungu needed. You know, these are the people that Edgar Lungu needed in his, uh, in his uh, cabinet. Intellectuals like KBF. These are people that were going to run Zambia, you know. These are people when Chinese bring their documents like this. Because Chinese, they are too clever. They know that PF leaders are DAO. They give them book like this. And because they know they will not be able to read they will just sign anything there. If there's somebody like KBF, even Emmanuel Mamba there, they will read it and say, mm -mm, here we don't like this condition. Here we don't like this condition. Change it. But because Eddie Galungu doesn't want people like that, he chased them all. KBF is an intellectual. He can go somewhere if he meets the right source. My mother, she's asking who is B10. B10 is a, when you go to Kitwe, there is a, in the, at the roundabout there, like when you are entering Kitwe, at the roundabout, there is a, there is a, a restaurant there. That restaurant is called After 10. When you finish eating from there, that bill, they give you from that restaurant 
That is what is called B10. It's after 10 bill. Tell your mother like that. Or oh, I drink Coca Cola. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> How is that going to put food on your table? We have suffered. Please come back to Zambia and advise. I'm not coming back to Zambia. I'm not coming there. Men of God must relax. Every other person, those who are seeing what PF is doing and they are not speaking out because they are afraid to say, hey, when... PF go and I see one will come back. No, 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 no. I'm not coming to your Zambi. I'm swearing upon Godfather. I'm not coming there. Mm. Watching from Canada. God bless you. Truck drivers. There, is a, uh, there are so many truck drivers that are telling me what they are going through in the hand of Chinese. They are not being paid and so on and so forth. Wait for next year. Everything is going to be fine. Lily Mutans. How are you, Lily? Wow. Thank you. Lily, Lily you can resend that comment again. See a one. <laughs> Start a stand-up comedy show. No. <sighs> See a one. I love you. You make us happy, wizard. Thank you. You are awesome because you tell the truth. Anyone that hates you hates the truth. Of course, God bless you. Do you take alcohol? Yes, I do sometimes. Kaiser Zulu and GBM. I don't know what you want me to talk about them. I love your truth. God bless you. Papa has explained bit then. Yes, according to my own understanding. Did you get back your powers from PF? Of course, you can see. One thing about me is that I don't lie. Anything. See, when you are avo avoiding me, what are the prices of your product? I'm going to come and answer that. Anything I say is the truth. I don't know how to lie. I say the truth. If you hate me, I don't know why you hate me. Because I cannot please you. I say the truth. Even what I'm saying about Zambia, if I'm lying, you can have the reason to hate me. I don't lie. I say the truth. You know, I say the truth. And the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Until you know the truth and speak the truth, you will not be free. Someone says you are avoiding me. Talk about the price of your... Who is winning 2021 election? It's in the I prophesied it long time ago, even when PF was intact. Don Rose, Apostle Don, watching you from United States. Wow, God bless you. God bless United States. Uh, somebody said the prices for your product, they are very expensive. They are not cheap. It, I, they are not cheap. When I'm doing work for people, like when I'm here speaking to people, giving out knowledge to people, doing spiritual work for people, I do it for free. Like the other time I was here, I made a, a, a deliverance for thousands of people. I've received more than more than 6,000 testimonies for free. People are being delivered from masturbation all over the world. You know, it's for free. But when you want me to do a work for you, for example, someone stole your money and ran away, you want me to bring it back. It's not free. I don't do those work for free of time. I don't belong to that category of freely you receive, freely you give. No, the material I used to do the work is very, very expensive. Do, the do as I say, a product that I used to do, the work is very expensive. It's not cheap. So you don't expect me to come and do it for free for you. Somebody stole my money. See, I want to uh, bring it back. You must, you must pay for the work. See, I want my husband is misbehaving. Make my husband a zombie so that when I say sit down, he sit, do this. It's not free. See, I want I'm sick. I have HIV. I have cancer. Hear me. It's not free. See, I want, I want to miracle money to appear on my account. Those, it's not free. When you send me a message on WhatsApp or you go to the website, you see the products for yourself, you send me a message on WhatsApp. My number is here on this page. You, you tell me what you want. 
If it's something I can do free of charge, I do it for free. But if it's something that is going to cost me material, you have to pay for the material. That's how I do my work. I'm not in the freely you receive, freely you give. It's not in my category. I don't receive freely. Those people who receive freely must do freely for you. I don't do the thing. You talk sincere, Obi Michael. <laughs> I'm not related to Michael Obi. See, I want to like your talking. God bless you. All the youth are voting for a church. That one is a, I can assure you that it's a guaranteed. Who want to vote for PF? So that Chinese will come and they take over Zambia. <laughs> ah, no, I can't allow that to happen. <laughs> we will buy data to hear you. <laughs> God bless you. Electoral Commission of Zambia has increased what, what, what? Let them increase. I'm watching from Chinsali. Wow! All the way from Chisali. The whole Zambia is watching me right now. <laughs> God bless you. Are you ready for next year to vote out corruption? Vote out corruption. Out of Zambia. Enough is enough. Do you think Zambia will be better when HH wins? Lily is a very simple thing. Lily, uh, a man who is wealthy will not go and continue stealing or steal because he has everything. Eka in the Chile, my rich man, the richest man in Zambia today. If you go and start stealing again, eh, then you will know that he's cursed. From the one we are going to curse him and remove him from power. In fact, it's very easy to remove him. He cannot go and start stealing because he's rich. The reason why the Galunga is corrupt, beyond corrupt, is because he was poor. Look at the suit, the type of suit he was wearing. He was a lawyer. <laughs> Chajambe lawyer. <laughs> Jakrakanta lawyer. <laughs> And he was poor. So because he was poor, he climbed there, he saw money, and he started shivering. Today he's rich. So that's why uh, the next time you want to vote, even after HH, look for somebody that is well to do. Not somebody who will go and start getting money to enrich himself. Watching from Luansha. Purity theory. Wow. Watching from Chingola. I see, I see there are too many... People that are watching me from Copper Belt. A lot and a lot and a lot from Chipata. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next year, prepare yourself to vote. Mm. Talk about Savior Chishimba. That guy is, a ve is on fire, you know. That guy is on fire. He must join a church and join the pact. He must go to the pact and, and, and they work together. He cannot do it alone. He's on fire. You know, he can speak. I watch him always. Mm -hmm. I'm watching from Kalumbila. God bless you. God bless Kalumbila. Sesheke is watching. Wow. This is nice. Namibia is truly proud of you, Sia One. Your knowledge is just in another level. Gomezo. Wow. God bless you. I love that. Thank you. I'm mobilizing with you in Lusaka. Of course. Start mobilizing now. Start telling people. <laughs> Start telling people. <laughs> you spy a lot of people, youths in Zambia. We are closely watching you from Lusaka. God bless you. I'm glad. Watching you from Western Province. That is Martin. God bless you, Martin. Rafa Banda, watching from Chipata. God bless you. George, watching from Lusaka. God bless you. Lily, Copper Bet is a great. <laughs> of course, they are they 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 they, they are ready. I'm Jehovah Witness, but next year I'm voting. <laughs> you must vote. <laughs> you must vote. <laughs> Even if it's a sin. <laughs> you sin this one, then after the election, you ask God to forgive you. He will forgive you. He's a merciful God. <laughs> Mukush is watching you. Mr. Webby Zambia. Wow, God bless you. Dagaban, you are a savior in our own way. Much respect. God bless you, kid. <sighs> Repeat the lawyer's name. Say, Chajambe. 
<laughs> young go, young go one. <laughs> we are scared. Our maid garden boy will vote for PF. Should we fire them? No. <laughs> they will not vote for them. You must tell them. <laughs> Let me also tell you something. You see, campaign period is, has started. The campaign has started. If PF give you Chitenge, take it. It's your right. It's your money. If they give you money, take it. It's your right. It's your money. If they give you food, take it. It's your right. It's your money. But don't vote for them. Don't vote for corruption anymore. Lundas is watching. Wow. It's from all over. All over Zambia. Watching from Lusaka. Wow. Doing push-up for next year. <laughs> I'm standing on UPND tickets. Am I going to win? On anyone that wants to stand on UPND ticket, all of you have the blessings of God. Even Tulufia Michael Sata is behind you all. Because where he is, he's not happy. I wish I can be allowed to vote twice. If you know once is enough, vote them out. So as he is watching, C3, God bless you. Watching from Mazabuka. Wow, Martin, God bless you, Martin. Watching you from Serenje. God bless you. God bless Serenje. If you are youths, start telling your youths. Start telling your fellow youths. Fellow youths. Start talking to them now. Start speaking to them now. Mpo Shelo. Watching from South Africa. How is South Africa today? They give us, we, we eat, we vote wisely. Of course. The same way MMD, you can see they have used the style of MMD. So they must learn the lesson MMD learned. If they give you eat, if they give you money, eat it. It's your money. If they give you food, eat it. It's your food. If they give you chitenge, we are it. It's your own. But on the door of voting, <laughs> remind them that you, are, you went to hell in their hand. Cowboy is watching. Chilabombe is watching. That is Majori. Majori, God bless you. Morris Moyo, Rija Gaban, God bless you. Closely watching you from Luansha. Luansha, go and start preaching now. They are leaving. Any other question that you want to ask me? Any other question that you want to ask me? We have already clocked our two hours. Any other question that you want to ask me? Questions? Questions? Okay, remember today what, we, what I spoke to you about? Like I told you, carry your pen and your paper. Let me remind you again. Your language is your power. When your language is confused, you are confused. Be proud of your language. Those people, I, I've seen people who love to correct me when I speak wrong English. They say, I see, Awan, you have made a mistake. It's not my language. It's not. It's not my language. No white man can speak my language the same way I'm speaking English. I'm trying. I should be clapped for, for speaking the little I'm speaking. I've seen young children committing suicide because they failed English language. That's what white people... Uh, 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 that's uh, wh what white people brought to us. It's not our language. I can't kill myself because I don't know how to speak another man's language. When they were building Tower of Babel from where we read in the Bible, the Bible says, and God said, let's go and confuse their tongue. Let's go and confuse their language so that we can be able to scatter them. When your language is confused, you are scattered. That's why your language is very, very important for you. You must hold it. You must keep it. You know. You must appreciate it. You must speak it. You must speak it. You must be proud of it. You must not be intimidated because you don't know how to speak English. No. You must not. You must not. You must not be intimidated because you don't know how to speak English. You must always, you must always treasure your language. Speak your language. Speak it with proud. When you speak your language, you will make our ancestors proud. You make even God that created you and gave you that language, you make him proud. If he wanted you to be the commander of English, he was going to create and put you in the United Kingdom or create and put you in America. It's, God is not a fool to create and put you in Zambia where you, he, he allow you to speak Bemba. 
don't don't kill yourself because you don't know how to speak english china is about to take over zambia that is why there as of december this year children in grade nine are going to be sitting to write chinese language when china language enters zambia is over which is already what is about to happen here so be very very careful your future is what is at stake see a one police officer from sisheke from sisheke are not being treated well not only police officer from sisheke all the police officers in zambia are suffering those who are eating are the bosses believe me police officers how much are they getting for salary when i was there in zambia i know how police used to flock my house i know how i used to help them you know the that's why check properly even in 2016 eddie galungu didn't win in any police camp they voted him out that's why if there are people who are telling him to say next year the police will stand against us if they become violent believe me police the police are even more angry they are more angry they are working hard but they are getting peanut as salary the houses where they are living you can cry go to sikanze camp there go to sikanze camp you would know what i'm talking about you know they are working hard but they are not getting nothing it is well next year it is well it's well okay i believe we have uh, covered a lot of things here today i just want to say that i love you i love you so much i love you so much more than the word love you must take care of yourself you must not be intimidated by anyone Youths of Zambia, I want to thank you for standing strong. For standing strong. Youths of Zambia, I want to thank you for standing strong. For being strong. For being very, very strong. Continue being strong. Continue speaking out. It's your right. Even protest. It's your right. It's there in the constitution. Continue being strong. Don't be intimidated by police. Even police themselves, they are suffering. They need better life. They want better life. Even the armies, they are writing me. They are sending me messages here. All of them are waiting for next year. Be very, very... Be comforted. Dude, you love Zambia. Petition and come back. I'm not coming back. I love Zambia so much from the bottom of my heart. But I'm not coming back. I really love you. Talking the truth. Continue. Thank you. God bless. Okay. I have to leave you tonight. I'm going to see you again next time in the next uh, live broadcast. Make sure that you have, you have followed this page or you are following this page. So that any time I'm live you receive an update anytime i post something you see it follow the page like the page and share the video especially this video tonight share it so that all the youths in zambia all the youths all over the world are going to see exactly what i have spoken tonight okay so you have seen the video i'm sure you have learned one or two things it's important that these things are discussed so that you and me can have an idea knowledge is power so you've heard what sia one has said and now it's up to you to make the right decision when it comes to voting it's either you vote this right candidate or you vote the wrong one and we continue in the same cycle so the choice is yours you have a power and the power lies in your voters card it's a girl a little more times also known as Gelo Wapa said, see you on my next video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and follow me on all social media platforms. It's simply at Lilimotams.